Good morning. Blessed Monday to all. So we welcome each other in our celebration, turning to the people around us. Our recycling nights are here with us. And we take this occasion to lift each other up in prayer for all our intentions as we remember to pray as well continually for peace in the world, for the end of violence of all kind against humanity, especially the unborn. We recognize the needs of the poor and address them, especially families that struggle victims of calamities and tragedies, and the homeless. Our entrance song on this Monday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time is Open the Eyes of My Heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 holy. I want to see you. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and humbly ask for God's pardon and grace. You heal the sick, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. You forgave sinners, Christ Eleison, Christ Eleison. You gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. From the descendants of Alexander's officers, there sprang a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes, son of King Antiochus, once a hostage at Rome. He became king in the year 137 of the Kingdom of the Greeks. In those days there appeared in Israel men who were breakers of the law. And they seduced many people, saying, Let us go and make an alliance with the Gentiles all around us. Since we separated from them, many evils have come upon us. The proposal was agreeable. Some from among the people 
promptly went to the king, and he authorized them to introduce the way of living of the Gentiles. Thereupon they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem, according to the Gentile custom. They covered over the mark of their circumcision and abandoned the Holy Covenant. They allied themselves with the Gentiles and sold themselves to wrongdoing. Then the king wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, each abandoning his particular customs. All the Gentiles conformed to the command of the king, and many children of Israel were in favor of his religion. They sacrificed to idols and profaned the Sabbath. On the 15th day of the month, Kislev, in the year 145, the king erected the horrible abomination upon the altar of burnt offerings. And in the surrounding cities of Judah, they built pagan altars. They also burned incense at the doors of the houses and in the streets. Any scrolls of the law which they found, they tore up and burnt. Whoever was found with the scroll of the covenant and whoever observed the law was condemned to death by royal decree. But many in Israel were determined and resolved in their hearts not to eat anything unclean. They preferred to die rather than to be defiled with unclean food or to profane the holy covenant. They did die. Terrible affliction was upon Israel. The word of the Lord. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Though the snares of the wicked are twined about me, your law I have not forgotten. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Redeem, from me, redeem me from the oppression of men, that I may keep your precepts. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I am attacked by malicious persecutors who are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Far from sinners is salvation, because they seek not your statutes. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I beheld the apostates with loathing, because they kept not to your promise. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the, by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what is happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more. Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, 
Please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they, when they saw this, all people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Perhaps a good question we ask ourselves to reflect on the readings, especially the gospel of today, which is very familiar with us, is what is my response if our Lord Jesus asks me the same question, what do you want me to do for you? And then maybe to ask ourselves, would my response, immediate response, be something for myself? Is it a prayer for others, or is it a prayer for the whole world? And in the end, every time we ask ourselves this question, what would be my response to what Jesus, <clears throat> when Jesus asked me the question, what do you want me to do for you, should always be in the context or in the perspective, perhaps, of eternal life, or what is our end game? What is it that we do? take us from where we are right now <clears throat> to where God wants us to be, which is to be with him eternally. Because sometimes we find ourselves in the midst, allowing the influence of this world and the temptations of this world or our weaknesses to get over us, like what we hear in the first reading. And perhaps it's a humble admittance of that <clears throat> that can shape the answer or the prayer we give to the Lord like that blind man. Perhaps to see, to hear, to feel with our hearts, to act from our hearts, or whatever it is that will make us truly a better and more authentic disciple, witness, and steward. After our Lord Jesus asked for the blind man to be brought to him, the crowd that had rebuked the blind man led him to our Lord Jesus. May we encourage people in their need to have recourse to the Lord. Our response, Lord, give us the light of life. Lord, give us the light of life. May the church, the people of God, have empathy for the blind and the disabled and to seek to help them in their difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light of life. May government officials gain the trust of their constituents by their empathy and hard work, especially in times of crisis and in great need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light of life. May the Lord come to the aid of the vulnerable in nursing homes and prisons the lonely and those suffering from economic difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light of life. May we have eyes to see our own sins and imperfections and beg the Lord for spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light of life. May our departed brothers and sisters see the light that never fades in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light of life. Almighty Father, listen to the prayers we lift up to you in the silence of our hearts, for our families and our loved ones, and also those in the Ark of Prayer chest, and for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, our continuing prayers for all souls and the eternal repose of the souls of Belen Teanyo and Tanis Ariza, we pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light of life. And for the intentions submitted to us in thanksgiving for Rona Christman, 
Nancy Ortiz, Aaron Villafania, Arlen Bonifacio, Rose Kim Lat, and Lan Pepe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, <clears throat> give us the light of life. For those in need of strength, healing, and comfort, Francie Magawa, Lorenzo Moran, Victoria Pineda, Lumi Palacio, Dave Owens, Judy Morgan, Barbara Yanchar, DJ Ernie Mira Felix, Mary Lou Villanueva, Jay Donahue and family, Patrick Cardinal, Chris Guagdadino, Ernesto and Evelyn Dinglasan, and Kiet Vu, we pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light of life. For our dearly departed, John Holt, Basilia Medina, Belinda V. Torres, Jesus Jacinto, Rich Reed, and Father William Krekelberg, we pray to the Lord. Lord, give us the light <coughs> of life. Loving Father, Jesus took pity on the blind man of Jericho and those who came to him for healing. May we go to you in our need, trusting that you will hear the cry of the poor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you, and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabavot. Plenis uncheli et terra, gloria tua, o sana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, o sana in excelsis. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save a Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, his brother, bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with the many in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Anus Dehei, Quitolis Pecata Mundi, Miserere Nobis. Anus Dehei, Quitolis Pecata Mundi, Miserere Nobis. Anius Dehei, Quitolis Pecata Mundi, Dona Nobis Pacem. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, to be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord. For those unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, now is the time for the prayer for spiritual communion.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. This coming Thursday, the Thanksgiving Day, there will be no 6 a.m. Mass, and our Mass will be the 8 a.m. Bilingual Mass for Thanksgiving. So this coming Thursday, if you come early at 6, then you can pray more. Now pray to our loving mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God, entrusted his only Son, in you, Mary, place her trust with you, Christ, for secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us to the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying <clears throat> the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song. It's also about eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love. Have a blessed day, everyone. <laughs>